Yo, what's going on everyone? It's your boy D. Lewis for the Philadelphia 76ers have a great young core. Had a pretty good season. Yes, they got bounced a little earlier than I expected. I thought they would make the Eastern Conference Finals. They end up losing to the Boston Celtics in the playoffs, but still a very young and promising core. A team that could contend for years to come in the playoffs, but it looks like they're trying to take the next step up and become a championship contender, at least according to the Sixers co-managing partner Josh Harris. Now, he feels that the team is prepared to do whatever it takes to land one of the big three this summer. Now, who are the big three? Of course, LeBron James, who is set to become an unrestricted free agent this summer. Paul George, who we think will opt out of his deal. He will then become an unrestricted free agent this summer. And then Kawhi Leonard, who we don't know exactly what's going on with him and the San Antonio Spurs organization, but he could potentially be available for trade this summer. So we don't know exactly which one of the three they want to go after, but like I said, Josh Harris says that they are prepared to do whatever it takes to land one of the three this summer. Now, in order to get the money to even do this in the first place, Philly has to do quite a bit of work. They have to waive Jared Bayless, of course, get rid of his $8.6 million um, deal and just stretch that over the next three seasons. They also have to renounce the rights of J.J. Redick, Amir Johnson, and Ersan Ilyasova, as well as Marco Bellinelli, all in order to just sign either LeBron, Paul George, or Kawhi Leonard. Now, I've been on record saying I don't like the fit of LeBron James with the Philadelphia 76ers. Yes, he can make them a little bit better, but what he does and what Ben Simmons does is a little bit too too similar to me, and I don't like that fit of him going to Philadelphia. I don't want to see Ben Simmons in the corner trying to be a spot-up shooter. I don't want to see LeBron James off the ball trying to be a spot-up shooter. So I don't like that fit personally with LeBron James going to Philly. Now, Paul George. I think Paul George could be a perfect fit. He's a perfect fit for a lot of teams because he could be the superstar. He could be the go-to scorer, but he could also be a catch-and-shoot type of player. I like that fit a lot. Kawhi Leonard, he brings defense to the team, and he's going to bring some offense as well. I like that fit. I don't like the LeBron James one. I don't see Philly getting Kawhi Leonard but it is possible depending on what type of offers the Spurs are getting if they do decide to go ahead and ship him out of town but I think Paul George could be the best fit for them if they are trying to go ahead and get one now you know Paul George he might be leaning toward going to the Lakers but you have a talented young core in Philly maybe that could you know change his mind and convince him maybe I should go to Philadelphia instead of going down to LA but that is the thing that's going on right now the 76ers are targeting either LeBron James Paul George or Kawhi Leonard will they get one of the three I'm not quite sure but you guys let me know how you guys feel about that in the comment section below will Philly be able to land one of these three and if so will which one do you think will be the best fit for this young Philadelphia 76ers team? Let me know how you guys feel about that in the comment section below. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.